Okay, so where we left off on episode four, you tape off your bridge and you tape off your neck. Got the neck lined up, and now we're gonna glue the neck on. What you don't get to see is the hours I spent getting the neck to where it was lined up correctly. My straight edge, you get it to line up right here. Spent a lot of time doing that. So, finally got that right. So, let's glue it up. together and it's all one piece now all right uh, so before I do the finish I want to put my initials here on the headstock it's not my real Joe Pierce maker logo but it is a logo that I've been using on the bottoms of some of my bowls just a, a stylized JP ready for finish. I want to tape off the fretboard so I don't get finish on the fretboard. And then we'll finish it. <clears throat> okay, so I've got the fretboard taped off. Tape down the sides. I've got a little bit of this satin wipe on poly left. If I run out, I've got some some gloss that I'll use. But we'll start with satin. I'm gonna put it in a little cup. coat's dry, we'll take a little bit of 320 to it, and we'll put a second coat.
going on. So, uh, finish is all done. It's all finished up. Look at that. Uh, so now we're going to take the uh, tape off and reveal this pretty fretboard. And we'll also remove the tape where the bridge goes. So as it feels itself, you'll see it's not finished. Uh, so now the glue will stick. Now I was going to glue this up last night, but you have no perception of what time it is because this is a video. Um, but I was going to glue it up last night, take a word for it, and uh, my clamps that I had wouldn't reach. These, my cheap clamps from the cheap store, they won't go in far enough. <laughs> It's barely on the edge, and then it's be cocked up like that, and that's no good. So, I had to go out and get some clamps with a longer throat. And I haven't tried them out yet to see if they'll fit through the sound hole. And they don't. Got new clamps for no reason. But hey, they're good clamps, so we're gonna keep them. So I have got to make some kind of clamp that can reach in here and clamp this shut. So time for me to do some on the fly engineering. Alright, here's my clamp that I came up with. So this is long enough to fit the throat here. All I do is I'll put the I'll put this bottom part in and I'll tighten this bolt and that will create clamping force down at this end. While my bridge is drying, I can go ahead and fit the, uh, the tuners in. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to put them in. I've got already got three of them in because I want to make sure they were lined up right. So just stick this through here. Just washer over the top. Screw the nut in. Now, on the back, it's got these holes here where screws go in. So first I want to make sure that they are parallel and coming out nicely. All pointed the same way. Then I'm going to take an awl, or in our case, a Jimmy DeResta ice pick. Punch a hole through here to mark where my screw can go. Next I'm going to take them back off and drill some pilot holes. I'm ready to go on to the next step. Okay, we're gonna put a little bit of mineral oil on the walnut parts. Alright, 
so when I test fit my strings earlier, I noticed that uh, my neck is actually tilted back a little bit. I think whenever I was cleaning up here, trying to make this fit, I sanded too much off of this end and not enough off of this end, so it's kind of tilted back. So from the nut to the bridge, the string buzzes across the frets. Um, so if this was if this was something that I was making to sell, I would at this point throw it in the fire pit. But it's my first one and I'm making it for myself. So I'm willing to let things like that go. And I just made a couple of shims out of some veneer. And I'm just gonna put those under the bridge. And that will lift the back up, keep the strings in a better line to the nut. And it won't buzz, but the string action will be too high. But, you know, like I said, first time, it was a mistake. I won't do that on the next one. continue tuning this for the next uh, forever because <laughs> these nylon strings the first time you put them on they stretch and so you get them tight and then they'll stretch and you get them tight and then they stretch so they keep keep going out of tune already out of tune so i'm just going to stretch them out tune it up and we'll come back and we'll play some terrible music Scary cause I've got the virgin 